Italy's Vincenzo Nibali is poised to win the Tour de France after Tony Martin won the penultimate stage, a 54 km time trial to Berry Gux. World time trial champion Martin completed the hilly course in 1 hour 6 minutes and 21 seconds, 99 seconds quicker than Dutchman Tom Dumoulin. Nibali finished fourth to extend his lead to 7 minutes 52 seconds ahead of Sunday's processional race to Paris. France's Jean Christophe Perraud moved up to second ahead of Thibaut Pinot. It will be the first time in 17 years that a Frenchman will finish in the top three. Richard Virenque was second in 1997, and the first time in 30 years that two Frenchmen will finish on the podium, Laurent Fignon beat Bernard Hinault to the title in 1984. Nibali still has to finish the race in Paris, but it is a largely leisurely ride into the French capital which usually finishes in a bunch sprint on the Champs-Élysées and should not affect the overall standings. It was not an easy time trial, it required a lot of power said 29-year-old Nibali. I never thought about that, becoming the first Italian to win since Pantani, I'm not sure I have realized yet. The Astana rider has dominated this year's tour, winning four stages and spending 17 days in the race leader's yellow jersey. He is set to become the first Italian since Marco Pantani in 1998 to win the world's most prestigious stage race. He will also become just the sixth man to win all three of cycling's grand tours, the Giro d'Italia, Tour de France and Vuel to Hispana. Nibali won the Giro in 2013 and the Vuel Tour in 2010. His previous best finish in the tour was third place, behind Britain's Sir Bradley Wiggins and Chris Froome, in 2012. Nibali's winning margin of almost 8 minutes will be the biggest since Jan Ulrich won by 9 minutes, 9 seconds in 1997. Saturday's individual time trial went largely to form with Omega Pharma, quick step rider Martin averaging 48.4 km per hour to comfortably win his second stage on this year's race. The team really did a great job for me, Martin said. They paid attention to all the details. I had a clear idea of the parkours in advance. There were always parts with 2 or 3% gradients, with up his and down his. You could go with a big gear, such as my 58 tooth chainring. It was just perfect for me.